Hello my dear friends of electronics. In this video today I just want to show you how easy it is to calculate the inductor for a DC-DC converter and also the total losses which will be on the inductor himself. For this reason I will use this online tool and after I will introduce this parameter like uh, I will choose first of all of course uh, a buck converter. A buck converter and uh, after choosing the buck converter, I have to input the parameter. I have a minimum input voltage like 18 volt. My power supply, which I took from my laptop, is 19 volt, and the maximum voltage is 20 volt. The output voltage will be 5 volt because I have here a USB application. And not 2 amp, I have a much more powerful uh, output, even more like 3 amp. And the switching frequency will be 2 megahertz. The maximum Ripple current I will set up to 30% and the diode voltage drop is 0.3 volt. As soon as I press this button, it's tell me, okay, you have here with this situation um, a duty cycle of 29% and we need an inductance optimum of 2.13 microhenry. I will choose because I know which I implement here. It should be this... 2.2, exactly, this is a MAPI in this time, I will choose a MAPI 2.2 and I put this inductance here. It calculating with this inductance a total um, losses of 323 millivolt. It means a temperature rise of 22.7 Kelvin. But I just want to check here because I will have a load with even 4 amp and at 4 amp with this inductance it should have a 29.8 Kelvin temperature rise. So this is what the Red Expert are calculating which is uh, not using just a 50% duty cycle, it's considered the real duty cycle himself, not the 50% Steinmetz error corrector. It will be based on not simulated value, it's based on really measured value. All these values which is implemented in this software are based on measured really values. So, this is in the theoretical part. Let me see what means on the PCB. So, let's go to the infrared camera. Now, I will check the input voltage. 19 volt, correct. And check the output voltage. 5 volt. 5 volt, correct. Now I will check the input voltage, 19 volt, correct, and check the output voltage, 5 volt, 5 volt, correct. Now I will check the frequency, if it's correct, Switching frequency to megahertz, like you can see on the scope. Now I will check the temperature on the component. For this reason, I will use a infrared thermal camera. You can see on uh, the screen, spot number one, it is on ambient temperature. Spot number two, it is for the component himself and the delta Kelvin, it's roughly 30, 31 degree. If I put now even the Resistor, the load, you can see this is very, very high temperature on the load. It's more like 100 degrees Celsius. So, Red Expert did make a good job. Like you can see, this is very easy to use this uh, software. And I recommend to use it and have fun in your future designs. And watch my other videos. See you next. Bye-bye.